this is Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just want to mention this SODDI defense. Yeah. The some other dude did it defense. Yeah. A claim that somebody else committed a crime, mm -hmm. usually made by a criminal defendant, oh, who cannot identify the third party. <laughs> now, I think that somebody said that I was a Saudi defendant. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was that uh, individual. Yes. That keeps saying some other dude did it. Now, some other dude. Right. Well, since I was on the bus. Mm hmm. And I was in this library on December 31st. Yes. And some other dude did it. Yes. Did somebody email? Uh, well, some other dude did it. Now, what don't I know as the criminal defendant? Yes. Why you're arresting me for the allegations of crime <clears throat> when you do know that I wasn't there. <laughs> now, some other dude. Mm -hmm. Exactly what have you been doing? Yes. That gave you the the reason, yeah, to violate the laws of the United States. Is there a, a prosecuting attorney that said, well, the guy's crazy. Uh -huh. He keeps saying that some other dude did it. Huh. Some other individual, somebody else, yes, was in Brendan, Washington on my wife's 47th birthday. Mm -hmm. Some other individual used my email accounts and I'm delusional for understanding exactly what's going on. <laughs> See, I'm that individual. Yes, that will find you. Pooch. And when I do, I will sue you. Oh, and you will not have ownership. <laughs> Judge, <laughs> you had available to you for the last mm, November 15th of 2015. Yes. Approximately three years and eight months. You had the availability of removing a protection order. Yes. Where it violated my right to due process. Mm-hmm. The petitioner didn't sign it. Right. And it was issued for 10 years. Mm. Now, uh, you can establish precedence. Yes. That if the petitioner doesn't appear in court, uh -huh, you can't issue a protection order. Now, I know that Brent or somebody else in this scheme, trick or device, yes, said, well, we don't have to have her appear in court. Mm -hmm. She's not required to appear in court after her 15th time of appearing. Is there a certain number of times that a petitioner is required to appear in court where you as the court commissioner can take it upon yourself yes, to, uh, in your discretion, in your discretion, decide that the petitioner is no longer? Well, let's look at it. Pooch. 90 days before it expires, uh, approximately seven and a half years from now, yes, the petitioner decides not to appear in court. How old is Benjamin going to be mm -hmm, on July 31st of 2025? Well, let's look at it. Mm -hmm. See, we could establish the precedence, yes, that you always require the appearance of the petitioner in court mm -hmm, before you issue a court order. Yes. Now, this is not the first, oh, look at 9-6 of 2015. Yes. Now, uh, Benjamin might not have had a Social Security card at that time. Yes. But he was born on September 6th of 2015. Mm. How old is he going to be on July 31st of 2025? Mm. 14 years old. Mm -hmm. Now, you're going to, at your discretion, decide, yes, that the petitioner is not required to appear in court because you're going to issue it again. Mm -hmm. Brent. You never have the discretion to not require the appearance of the petitioner. And when issuing protection orders, you have no discretion to say that you don't like the individual. Yes. When you've never spoken to the person. Right. You've seen me, but you never fucking talk to me. Now, you as a judge have not been impartial. Yes. You haven't been independent, pooch, and you have not had the integrity of the court. And for all the other judges throughout the United States that say that you're going to be the scapegoat of, of their corruption, I'm going to find these fuckers right now. Because you won't be the scapegoat, Brent. I will go through every judge in every county of this state and every state, and I'll find every corrupt one of them. Do you understand, Brent? 
You're not going to be uh -huh, the sacrificial lamb for the judicial system of the United States of America. Now, you issue the thing to 2025. Yes. My son, Benjamin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be an adult at that time. So when we look at the number of times that a petitioner is required to appear in court, exactly at what point of the requirements for appearing, yes, does the court, Commissioner Bayston, have the discretion to no longer require the appearance of the petitioner? You never have, have the discretion. You never have the discretion. The petitioner of petitions the court. Mm -hmm. And without her signature acknowledging it, yes, though you might have issued it without the signature, yes, there should have been some sort of explanation of exactly why she didn't want you to issue it. Now, we've talked about temporary protection orders, yes, and how you can have a temporary protection order issued if law enforcement has a credible threat to the petitioner or the minor's name, yes, or there's an actual arrest. <laughs> but outside of those conditions, yes, if the individual doesn't want the protection order, what? 